Hi, welcome to GRTC videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell icon so that you will be updated and be notified every time we upload new videos. Okay, in this video, we will discuss shear and moment in beams. This is a very simple uh, problem, but ito yung pinaka-common sa board exam. And to tell you, kahit sa, sa review namin, paulit-ulitin namin itong ibigay, 30-40% pa rin yung, although yung mga reaction siguro makukuha nung karamihan, pero yung mga moment, I wonder why marami talagang nahirapan. So I hope this will help you with your preparation sa board exams. Okay, it's a very simple uh, problem. Some of you knows this, kahit na pikitan or ipikit yung mata, kayang-kaya ng iba to. Okay, so we have here a simple beam supported, the uh, total length is 12 meters. Simple uh, supported at A and a roller at B, 3 meters. So meron siyang overhang na 3 meters. The load is 36 kilonewtons per meter. Uniform load all throughout the span. So we are going to determine the maximum shear and bending moment. Okay, maraming nagtatanong, Sir, Kailangan ba talagang i-draw ang shear and moment diagram pag nagsosolve ka ng shear and moment? Well, that's a very common question. Okay, my answer will be dalawa. Depende. Actually, depende. If you are finding the shear or bending moment, we call them internal forces, no? the general term for that. The internal forces in beams. Kung hinahanap mo yung shear and moment at a given point, let's say halimbawa, Hanapin mo yung shear moment at 3 meters from A. Okay, yun lang. Yun lang yung talong. What is the shear? What is the moment? Or kung meron pang torque, meron pang axial load. If you have to find the shear moment at a particular point, huwag mo nang i-draw yung diagram. You will be wasting your time. No? Mahaba yung solution mo. No? And then gagamitin mo lang for a particular point. The purpose of the diagram is to determine the, the internal process anywhere along the beam. So, kailangan mo yung diagram kung halimbawa maximum shear or maximum moment yung hinahanap, hindi mo pa alam saan mag-u-occur. Kaya, you must have a diagram or at least know what the diagram will look like para ma-imagine mo na yung kung saan mangyayari yung maximum moment halimbawa. Yun yung gamit nun. So, hindi lahat pag shear a moment kasi most students pag shear a moment yung hinahanap, diretso agad draw yung diagram kaya hindi nila alam anong ginagawa nila. So, I will repeat, kung particular point yung ginahanap in the beam, there's no need. Pero kung ginahanap yung maximum, halimbawa, moment or maximum shear, hindi mo pa alam kung saan mag-occur then there may be a need to draw the diagram. Okay? So, first of course, the reaction. Kunin mo natin yung reaction. Unahin natin yung reaction at A. So, if here, RA, and then we have here, RB, Okay? So, unahin natin yung, ah, RB na lang unahin natin. Okay? So, there are only two, ano, see, there is no horizontal reaction at A kasi wala tayong horizontal force. Na? Kaya we only have vertical forces. So, dalawa, yun, dalawa lang yung ano natin. Anyway, should there be an inclined force here, then it will be absorbed by A because B is roller. Alright? So, summation of moment about A tayo. Okay? Summation of moment, so unahin natin yung uniform load. 36 times 12 times kalahati ng 12 times 6. Okay? Minus RB times 9 equals 0. Then, simple, masyado, makukuha natin yung RB. Alright? So, may RB na tayo, 288. And then, summation of process vertical 0, RA plus RB equals 36 times uh, 12. Then, RA is 144 kN. Okay? Uh, now, Siguro sa shear, hindi masyado mahirap yung shear. Ha? Okay. Uh, marami nagtatanong. Sir, yung bang maximum shear, yun na rin yung maximum reaction? Okay. Ito yung sagot ko ha. Kapag end reaction siya, wala nang continuation, walang overhang, the maximum shear is also, the, the, the shear at that is also the reaction. Pero kapag mayroong continuation yung beam, continuous pa, halimbawa at B, oh, may karugtong pa yung beam, 288 is not a shear. Pero ito 144 shear na yan. So 288 is that. Pero kung wala nang load dito, hanggang dyan lang yan, a 288 is the shear at that end. 
Okay? So in this case, 288 is not a shear. Okay, sige, i-draw natin yung shear diagram and then yung moment diagram. Kasi hindi pa natin alam saan mag-occur yung maximum moment. Okay, draw natin yung vertical lines through the given load. Padahin na, uh, beam, I mean, padahin natin yung shear diagram. Alright? Okay, starting at A. At A, there is an abrupt rise. So, aakyat tayo ng 144. Unahin nyo muna yung poise. Huwag nyo muna i-draw yung curve. Identify the poise first. Alright? So, aakyat tayo ng 144. Then, bababa tayo. Ha? So, we will go down a total of 36 times 8. So, 144 minus 36 ano, sorry, times 9. Sorry. 144 minus 36 times 9. Okay, how much is that? Kapitin nyo. So that should give you 144 minus 36, negative 180. So ito. So you will start from here, akyat ka, then bababa tayo. And then akyat tayo ng 288. So negative 180 plus 288, that will give you positive 108. And then 108 minus 36 times 3, of course that should give you 108. So magsisiro siya dito. Alright, so yan yung ating points. Okay? So here, makita natin kung after tayo sa maximum shear, the maximum shear is negative or 180. Uh, maximum negative shear. Kung after ka sa maximum positive shear, that is 144. Okay? So negative shear, and then positive shear. So kung maximum shear lang, well, understood lang, it's the absolute value. Alright? Ito yung ating shear diagram. Okay? So bakit straight line yan? Kasi yung ating load, di ba? Ano ba yung principle? The load is the slope of the shear diagram. We have here a uniform negative load. Kaya yung slope ng ating shear diagram is uniform negative. Kaya pababa siya. Okay? So this is now your shear diagram. Okay? Now, i-draw natin yung moment diagram. Na? Locate natin tong point na to. So we will use area method in finding the moment. Ayan ang kagandahan nito kasi area method mabilis. Na? Hindi yung area moment. Ha? That's for deflection. Area, area method in drawing diagrams. Okay. Especially the moment. Okay, locate natin itong point of zero shear muna para makuha natin yung areas ng mga diagram natin. Okay, how will you solve that? Tawagin natin X. Okay? Ah. Well, I know isa agad yung papasok sa ACT nyo, ratio and proportion. Well, that's not That, that's correct. That's not wrong. No? That's correct. No? How will you do that? X is to 144 as 9 is to ato, 180 plus 144. Ah, you can do that. But please, don't do that. Mahaba masyado. That's very, this is very simple. Diba? Okay, logic lang to. Logic. Hanapin mo yung point in the beam na magsisiro yung shear. Diba? The load here is 144. Okay? So what will make that shear zero? Ang magpapasiro niyan is the uniform load. So, kukuha ka ng portion of the uniform load na mag-equal to 144. So, meaning 36 times x equals 144. So, meaning your x is equal to 144 divided by 36. So, in process, in other words, kung uniform load lang, the, the point to mag-zero siya is the shear divided by the uniform load. Yun lang. So, 144 divided by 36 is equal to 4. Dito, tinan nyo. 180 divided by 36. Huh? That should give you 5. So, no need of ratio and proportion. Pero kung okay ka naman, wala naman problema sa yung ratio and proportion din, go on. This is always true kung uniform load. Kasi ganun, straight line palagi yan. Huh? Okay, I hope this will help you out para hindi na masyado kayo ma, ma, ano, ma, matatagalan. All right, so the area of this the diagram here is one half four by one hundred forty-four, so that's two hundred eighty-eight positive. Okay, this is five. Nah, you can check on that. One eighty divided by thirty-six is five. So this is one half five by one eighty. That's negative four fifty. Ito naman ay one half three times one hundred eight is one hundred sixty-two. Okay, ito natin yung moment diagram. Unahin natin yung points. Nah. Panahin natin yung points. Okay. The moment at A is zero. Start tayo dyan. Okay? And then, okay. So, the change in moment, take note, the change in moment is the area under the shear diagram between those points. Okay. Then, after that, we will go up 288 area ng ating shear diagram. Akyat tayo. So, zero dyan. Akyat tayo ng 288. So, hanggang dito. 
Ito tayo, akyatan to 188. Then, bababa tayo ng 450. Bababa tayo ng 450. So, that's the 288 minus 450, negative 162. Then, akyat tayo ng positive 162. That should end here. So, that should be zero. So, this is your moment diagram. Okay. Kung namumblema kayo pa sa board exam, ha? I'm talking of the board exam. Actually, sa board exam, you don't need to draw the diagram. Now, in a way, na, meron ka naman dito maximum moment. Why should you draw the diagram if you're only up there for that? What's the use? Importante yung points. Importante yung points. Na? So, the maximum moment is 208. Na? 288 yan. Na? 200. Okay, 288 kilonewton meter. Okay, so if you really want to draw the diagram para magandang tingnan yung drawing mo, kahit tama na yung sagot mo. Na? Okay, draw mo lang. Ito yung diagram. Uh, explain ko sa inyo bakit ganun yung diagram. Ano ba yung principle yan? Di ba? Okay, di ba kanina sinabi ko, the load is the slope of the shear diagram. The load from A to B is uniform negative, kaya yung slope niya is uniform negative. Uniform negative. Okay, ano naman yung from shear to moment? Ano, yung, ano, yung, ano, yung, ano ba yung principle? Okay, and yung principle is, the shear is the slope of the moment diagram. The shear. So here, the shear is positive, positive 144. I-draw natin, ha? Positive 144, so you will start with a positive slope. Then here, the shear is zero. So here, the shear, the, okay, the slope is horizontal. The shear here is negative. So you will end with a negative slope. So ganon yun. Start with a positive slope, zero ka dyan, uh, negative slope ka dyan. Kaya you know na how to connect. And then the shear changes from point to point. Kaya the slope the moment diagram changes from point to point. Then after that, the shear becomes suddenly, nahi, naging 108 siya. Kaya bigla siya naging positive 108. And then it moves, it will end with zero shear at, uh, at here. Kaya it ends with a zero slope. Kaya starting with a positive shear, positive slope, end with a zero shear, zero slope. Kaya ganun din yung forma niya. I hope na kuha dyo, no? So pag ganun siya, positive slope, zero slope. Naging ganun siya. Yan yung explanation dyan. But again, if you're only up there for the maximum value, you don't need the diagram. Siguro the least that you should know is the shear diagram. At the moment diagram, I don't, I don't find a reason why you should draw this. There's a need to draw that one. Sa board exam, ha? Sa board exam. Ha? Pero natula, sa klase, kailangan natin ipakita sa teacher yan. Pero kung habol mo lang yung maximum moment, for me, no need to draw that. Okay? So I hope you learned a lot from this the discussion. Ha? So sa online review namin, explain to lahat, pati yung fundamental, bakit ganun yung shape, bakit positive yung shear, kailan maging negative yung moment, kailan maging negative yung shear, what if yung vertical yung member, explain, explain namin yung lahat sa online na uh, review namin or even in our review center all right dito simple problem to no? okay so anyway we will load we will uh, upload more shear and moment videos sa aming uh, youtube okay so please uh, don't forget to subscribe ah Click the subscribe. I hope you learned a lot from this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon para ma-inform kayo sa mga new videos namin. Okay? Thank you so much.